Meet the future. This, according to Volkswagen, is the kind of car the likes of you and I will be driving to go around our daily lives. First there was the Beetle, then there was the Golf, and soon there'll be the ID. The ID concept was launched at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, showing off the next step in Volkswagen's evolution. The cars of the future will do away with the internal combustion engine and go all electric. And VW wants to be at the coalface, for want of a better word, as early as possible. Unlike Tesla, VW's first proper EV isn't a silly sports car or a or a sedan with a zillion horsepower. Instead, it's a family hatchback with plenty of space, a decent range, 249 to 373 miles, and a sensible price tag. VW says the ID has a dizzying 168 brake horsepower and can get from 0 to 62 in sub 8 seconds, and that it'll top out at 99 miles an hour. It's also designed for space and comfort, so there's four seats, likely five in the production car, a wheel that tucks away nicely if you use the concept car's imaginary fully autonomous mode, making initial IDs fully autonomous would be a little too expensive for VW's taste, but semi-autonomous tech is almost certain to appear. As this is an electric car, there's no need for a motor or anything like that, which means the front is closed off and a set of rather delightful LED headlamps are nestled just below the surface. They're quite smart. When it's in autonomous mode, it tells pedestrians what it's doing and whether they're safe to cross and things like that. It also means that all the space that would be for transmission tunnels and stuff like that can be freed up for people and things. The production car is based on a new platform, MEB, for VW's electric vehicles. It sandwiches the car's lithium-ion batteries in the car's floor, so the centre of gravity is low and there's no space penalty for having your power source on board with you. In 2020, when the production car appears, it will sit alongside the Golf. However, VW's pretty adamant that the EV ID is pretty much the way to go. But that's kind of a thing with VW, it's always been looking after its people, and it all started with a concept to get Germany moving from its inception in the 1930s. This is a Beetle. You know it's a Beetle because it's one of the most distinctive looking cars on the planet. Originally designed to be a cheap car for the people, or Volkswagen. The Beetle was the brainchild of a certain Mr Hitler, who wanted his people to be able to travel freely on Germany's road network. He called up a chap called Ferdinand Porsche to design it, who came up with a rear-wheel drive, rear-engined car that became known as the Beetle. Initially, the car needed to hit a top speed of 62 miles an hour and use less than 7 litres of fuel per 100 kilometres. Oh, and it had to be cheap and easy to fix. The people needed to travel, not go into debt fixing their motor. Production didn't really start in earnest until after World War II, thanks to British major Ivan Hurst. The heavily bombed VW factory was brought back to life because of him, and the rest is history. Kinda. By the 1970s, the Beetle was in decline. Technology had moved on, and the time came for VW to do the same. In 1974, the Golf appeared. It was water-cooled and front-wheel drive, and crucially, a better car for the masses. It was, and still is, wildly popular, and is credited with inventing the hot hatch, even though it didn't really. Still, it's been around for ages and kicks all kinds of ass. It was a turning point for VW, just as they hope the ID will be. From day one, Volkswagen's been there providing the best it can. The Beetle was designed to get people moving. And then when the Beetle became obsolete, then was the Golf. And next this, the ID. Now, with my limited time with the concept, here's what it's like to drive. I'm going to have to keep this brief because this is one of the single most nerve-wracking drives I've ever done. I've driven Veyrons, C-types, everything. But this is worth more than all of them combined. And, um, yeah. So we've been given a little bit of road just to play on. And it's it's quite interesting to see really because this this has been designed really to drive onto a stage and then drive off it very slowly. So the throttle the throttle mapping is a little bit dicey. And sometimes the car starts to shake a little bit, and sometimes that means you've just got to give it a little bit more go. It's very sparse in here, but there's so much space and so much light. Admittedly, you know, there's no, nothing like a stereo or anything like that, but this is around the size of a golf, yet it feels so much bigger. And the cool thing is, when you need to change gear, it's all little kind of haptic buttons on the bottom of the steering wheel. You just press your finger over it and off you go. It's so impressive, this thing. 
it is also a little bit terrifying because it's quite wobbly because of course this is a hand-built one-off concept car which makes some noises that can be a little bit unnerving however the little instrument binnacle down here shows me everything I need the steering's light I can see out of it and when it's behaving itself it feels fantastic its top speed currently is 25 kilometers an hour which feels just plenty enough for me so visibility wise as well as the massive glass house so I can see out of it so easily my rear view mirror is a camera my wing mirrors are cameras and also there's little cameras where the B pillars would be now that's for the autonomous stuff that the concept is supposed to have now the concept car you press a you press the VW badge on the wheel and it sinks in the car will drive itself that's not how this one actually works because this is just a concept and you see there's little discs at the top those also read the road and read people and it's a nice way of integrating the autonomous tech, something that can be quite bulky, to make it look kind of cool and an integral part of the car. Yes, this is a concept, which means it's a bit wobbly, it's not the quickest in the world, and you know, things aren't 100%, but this really is a statement of intent. This is showing what VW will bring in the future, and you know what? I'm really excited.